Recently, I bought an Arduino Uno R3 development board for some projects I was working on. It's less than three inches square, and when moving it around on my breadboard, sometimes I'm concerned that the pads underneath will touch some of the wires and other circuits on my board. Also, when you plug USB into the onboard connector, the tension on the wire sometimes makes the thing wiggle around on your breadboard. So today I'm going to show you how I made a quick and easy mounting base for my Arduino board. I had the supplies shown here laying around. Difficulty level on this project was easy and it took me longer to find screws that would fit through the board correctly than it did to do the whole project. If the whole thing takes you more than 15 minutes, you're doing something wrong. I cut out a base from a piece of masonite or hardboard that was slightly oversized from the size of the board. For an Uno, I made mine three inches high by two and a half inches wide. I marked holes on the base where the screws were going to go. I carefully drilled out the holes with a 1 8 inch drill and installed motherboard standoffs from my computer supplies. Unless you get lucky, you're probably going to have a hard time finding screws with small enough heads that don't obstruct other components on the board or short anything out, but still fit the standoff threads underneath. I had to dig through this bin of screws for a pretty long time before I found something that would fit correctly. Here are some shots of my mounting screws. Now the Arduino is mounted to the hardboard base. The standoffs are keeping it away underneath. Just one more step to go. I mounted these self-stick adhesive pads to keep it from sliding. And here's my finished project. Now I don't have to worry about any short circuits or problems with the board skimming across my wires and other components on the breadboard. And for those with inquiring minds, this is just a small circuit I set up that will turn on the green LED in the center of the photo when the temperature sensor at the bottom of the photo hits anything above 68.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's it for today's mini project. I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.